Hi, this is Code Practices with InfoPulse Experts. Today, we will have an overview of the most popular automation test design pattern yet. Page Object. It is an easy way to improve the maintainability and readability of test code. This pattern allows to reduce code duplication because common actions are written as separate functions. Improve test readability because on a test level, we see logical names of actions such as login, buy a coffee, pay, etc. And improve test maintenance because changes in the locator can be introduced once on a page object level instead of updating every single test separately. The pattern is called page object because usually methods are related to web pages, but it is not mandatory. Let's create page objects for a coffee app. I'd recommend creating a base class and putting the most common methods there, such as init, navigation. My advice is not to try to write all possible methods in advance. Just build a structure and update it whenever you notice a method is missing. The next step is to create page objects for the pages we are going to cover with tests. I will start with the main page and call it the menu. I need to create a method to add coffee to the cart. To pass the page object to the test, I need to create a fixture, which I am doing in the conftest.py file to make it global to all my tests. And I am going to remind you that it is possible to pass fixtures into fixtures. Let's just imagine a tested web application has an authentication feature. We can authenticate in advance and pass the session to the menu fixture. Now let's create the test, add a cup to the cart, and check the price. And it seems that the method for the price is missing. Let's go back to the page object and add a method to return the locator of the entire label. There are many ways to verify expected results. PyTest uses the assert keyword by default, and you can use it. I've used it previously. But since last year, the expect method has been introduced. You may pass a locator, a page, or a web response to this method, and then specify what exactly you expect. This way of assertion is more reliable, because you don't have to implement any waiting or retry logic. It is already encapsulated. You can check out the list of possible expectations in the documentation or by pressing control space in the pie charm. Finally, let's run the test and enjoy the result. This time, I've got some homework for you. You must design at least five test cases and implement them. If you need page object methods, implement them too, and make them simple, readable, and efficient. If you need a hint, check out our test project sample at InfoPulse GitHub. The link will be in the description. In the next episode, we will learn how to improve our tests with more test data. Hit the subscribe button not to miss it. Also, your likes and comments are welcome and appreciated. Be safe and support Ukraine.